everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing this super smoky eye with a nude lip. I got a huge response from this yesterday on Instagram and I'm so happy you guys loved it. I super loved it as well. I'm using Kat Von D's new liner basket case and it's bomb y'all. You, you need to get it if you can. I know it's sold out everywhere but it's really good. So I'm going to be doing a full face tutorial. I'm first moisturizing my face and then I'm priming my lids with the same thing I always do. Same old, same old. And then I am going to be taking a basket case and I'm also going to be taking the shade and light eye palette. I'll just be using the taupey shade in the top middle and also the black to set the liner. I'm first taking a big fluffy brush and just running that taupey shade in and above my crease just to have a little bit of a transition shade so far but we're going to be doing a lot of layering with this look and then I'm taking the basket case liner and I'm putting it all over my lid don't worry about perfection it does not need to be perfect and then I'm kind of going in a little bit of a cat eye shape and then I'm packing on the black shadow from the shade and light palette on top of it and then I'm kind of going above it and starting to smoke it out I'm also taking a shorter flat brush and I am starting to blend out the edges. I took a little bit more of that black and then I'm taking that taupey brown again and mixing them together to blend out the edges. And I'm just going higher and higher as I'm doing it. And then to really blend everything out and make sure the edges are nice and soft, I'm just taking that big fluffy brush we used in the beginning and really blending and smoking out those edges. And it's as simple as that. It's really easy. Just make sure you're going in a cat eye shape and that you're packing on the black. You're not swiping it at first. You really want to pack it on top of that liner first and then you can start blending everything out. Basket Case is really a great liner if you like to do smoky eyes, if you need it for your waterline, if you need it for tight lining. It does not move once it's set. It's there. It ain't going nowhere. It's really, really nice. It doesn't crease throughout the day whatsoever. It's bomb. Then I'm taking my Benefit Professional and priming my face. And before I do foundation, I am smoking out the lower lash line as well. I'm taking basket case again and putting that into my lower lash line and below it a little bit. We're doing it pretty thick down there. And I'm also tight lining my top lash line. That just makes fake lashes blend in with your natural lashes a little bit more. I've talked about that before. And then again, I'm just going to start smoking out that lower lash line, making sure it's connected with the top portion of the look. And smoking it out all the way from the inner corner to the outer corner as well. I'm really trying to keep it in a very precise cat eye shape on the bottom there. Um, because if you do it too smoky, you might get raccoon eyes. I mean, this is a pretty raccoony look, <laughs> but you want to be careful not to smoke it out too, too much. And then I'm taking my Peach Perfect Foundation in Snow. I'm using my Beauty Blender to apply this. It does look really yellow. Um, it's a yet more of a yellow tone. This is the lightest shade though, but this foundation is so good. I don't even care. And I set it, you know, with a powder and I use more of a peach or pink toned concealer anyways. So it helps kind of neutralize it. But this foundation is so, so good. It's one of my favorites. It's one of the only ones that can actually like control my oil and doesn't separate on me throughout the day. It's so nice. Then I'm using my NARS Soft Matte Concealer in Vanilla, and I'm just putting that in the normal areas that you would usually highlight, like underneath your eyes, your nose, Cupid's bow, chin, and forehead. Then I'm blending that out. Sometimes I like to do concealer after I've already smoked up the bottom lash line or done whatever I needed to do below that, because if I take concealer all the way up to my lash line, it gets kind of crepey and creasy, and I really hate that, so sometimes I do it after I do the bottom lash line. And then I'm taking my neutral set powder from Bid Night and I'm just setting everything on my face. Um, I set everywhere with a beauty blender and powder. I do my neck even. I just don't do the areas where I'm going to contour at. Then I'm taking my foolproof brow powder from Benefit. I'm actually really liking this. I've never really used a powder for my brows, but I am enjoying this. It's just not dark enough um, for my brows, so I use it to really fill in and get the shape that I want. And then I go in with my Anastasia Dip Brow, which is real dirty right now, sorry. And this is in granite, it's the black shade. And I just go in really lightly over the powder and just kind of fill in everywhere else to make them a little bit darker. And then I clean it up with some concealer. I just clean it up with the same matte concealer from NARS. 
I do the bottom, I clean up the top as well, and then I just kind of blend it down so there's no harsh lines. Then I'm just taking a matte white shade and putting that right in the inner corner of the eyes and also using that as my brow bone highlight. I'm not using any shimmery stuff. I'm not using any sparkly highlight for this. It's all matte. And then I'm just blending out those edges to make sure the concealer didn't mess up the edges of my eyeshadow. For lashes, I'm using these ones from Velour Lashes. I am putting mascara on my eyelashes. This is the Roller Lash from Benefit. These Velour Lashes are lie detector. That's what they're called. Look at the difference that makes with that smoky eye, y'all. Lashes are important. So important. For contour today, I'm using my Shade and Light Contour Palette, and I'm using the first shade right here. It's the most gray-toned one that fits my skin tone the best. I'm just doing a normal contour, pretty dramatic like I always do. Nothing too special. I'm also contouring my nose. Next, I'm taking my party blush from Tarte and I'm just putting that on my cheeks. And then it's hard to decide what color I wanted to do because I got sent these all from LA Splash Cosmetics. It's their new Architect Lip Liners. I chose the shade Chris. Oh my god, I cannot remember. Um, I'm so bad. My memory is so bad. Sorry, y'all. But it's more of like a taupey kind of grayish brown. Corinthian. Corinth yeah, Corinthian is the color. There we go. God. And then I'm taking my Anastasia Pure Hollywood lipstick. Y'all know I don't like nudes, okay? I went for it today. Y'all requested it. You always ask for it. I thought with this smoky eye, I shouldn't do a dark lip. So I went for the nude, and I actually really liked it. I haven't done nudes in months. Like a true, true nude. Um, so I went in with a, more of a gray-toned one to kind of make it a little bit darker on the edges at least. And then I put on the lipstick over that and then I took more of that lip liner on top of the lipstick and just kind of use my finger to blend the edges in so it's more like an ombre effect and it's darker on the edges, lighter in the middle, y'all know. But I really don't have a lot of nudes but I do want to start doing them more often. I really liked it. I just really don't have a lot. All my colors are reds. That's what I have. Then I'm setting with my Kat Von D Locket setting spray and that's the end of this tutorial guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing a nude lip look for y'all. Make sure you watch all my other videos and you subscribe to my channel and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye bye!